everyone, what's up? Um, it's me back again, going to show you my Battling Boxer deck. Before I start, I want to say something to all of you. I've been sick for a while. I want to show everyone the new decks that can be played in January 2010 because a lot of decks get a lot of pushes. There's no best deck anymore, quote unquote. Okay, so you can play whatever you want and it's going to be probably good. But the, all these decks that I've showed you in my deck profiles, all of them are all mine. Majority of them are trading or selling. If you want any, you should contact me. Alright, let me begin. First of all, we have the three headgear. It's foolish barrel on legs, okay? That's exactly what it is. Sends battling box of monsters to grave from your deck. Then we have triple glass jaw, heart and soul of the deck. The deck is centered around discard, whether it being exceed material for lead yoke, or you're going to send it with this guy's effect to add trigger his effect and add a card to your hand. And then we have our three switch it all. He is basically the blizzard for this deck, but he's no synchro summon. He exceeds. Instant XYZ. But for a turn he can't allow you he can't exceed or special summon any monsters except for battling boxer monsters. Okay? And then triple spar. A lot of people hate on this card. I don't see why the card is actually very good because it helps in the first turn setup that's what it's really good at if you're not playing it for the first turn setup it's not going to help you that's why you need to maximize your chance by playing three not playing two next two counter punches i know a lot of people don't play them any at all it's actually good especially in the grind matches where you're top decking for monsters and it doesn't really centers around the exceed where it centers around your monsters to help them Next up, Blue Flame Swordsman, everyone knows what he does. When you destroyed, you special summon back a fire warrior monster from your graveyard. Now, Thunder King Ryo as our entire metal man. Everyone knows what TK does and he's very well played in there because there's only one search card in deck. And for the hand traps we have two maxi, two evit fails. The reason for these cards is because with majority of decks like Bujin you want the Veilers over the Maxi because they're hardly going to ever special someone. And other decks, you're going to need the Maxi and you don't need the Veilers. So I play both to maximize my chances of winning. Then we have Triple Mystical Space Typhoon. Very standard, very good card. Next, two Battling Boxer Spirits. You don't need to play threes. Three is excessive. Two Forbidden Lands. Very good card. Reinforcement. Foolish. And Dark Hole. That's it for all the spell cards. Now for the traps we have two XYZ block. Very good card. I'm just testing it for now over Fiendish Chain. Cause alright, let me talk to you a problem about the type of deck. Reality and true, the deck is actually very good. If it didn't come all common, I bet everyone would be playing it. And our real problem for it is Big Eye. Big Eye screws the deck over. Take your monster and you can't destroy it. You, you don't have any means of getting rid of it. And the thing is to finish chain is if they special summon big guy in defense and you finish chain it there's nothing in your deck can cross the big guy. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay. So I played it so it destroys the monster over leaving the monster there. And it's always live. It's live 90% of the time. Next two call of the haunted then standard two mirror force Torrential, Bottomless, Compulse, and Solemn. That's it for all the trap cards. Now for the extra deck, we have Triple Lady Oak. Self-explanatory. He's the main guy to go to in this deck. Then we have Utopia Ray and Utopia. Comic Hero, King Arthur. Blade Armor Ninja. Excalibur. Gemini Pearl. Master Key Beetle. Photon Polyperative, Laval Valchain, Daigusta Emerald, Abyssal, really good, and Cowboy. That's it for all your exceeds and your extra deck. Side deck, 2 Fencing Fire Ferret. Um, for any deck with control monsters such as Evil Swarm Ophion, where they just beat on your deck, it's, 
It's a snowman eater with legs. You can attack with it. That's the only thing about this card. It's actually good. Next, two fossil dino. It doesn't hurt your deck, but definitely cripples others. Because majority of the time, if you flip this up, you won't be destroying your own monsters because Lady Oak only pushes to save himself while your opponent's getting bent over. Next, two consecrated light are uh, really good against any deck that you have to face dark time monsters. Mainly evil swarm matchup. It gets annoying when they side for you. Next, battling boxer rabbit poncho. Going to talk about this card for a quick. Um, this card is in the deck because of cards like Spirit Reaper and Marshmallow. With Spirit Reaper, you can only kill it by A, Dark Hole in yourself, B, Forbidden Lance. There's no other card in your main deck that can stop it. If you play Fiendish Chain over the other trap I was playing, you can Fiendish Chain and attack it over. Not to say that your opponent can just chain Mystical Space Typhoon to the Fiendish Chain. But either way, the Spirit Reaper would go away. But our next case is Marshmallow. With Marshmallow, there is absolutely no way of getting across. Okay? There is, you can't win with a Marshmallow on board. This happened to me on when I was playing Dino Rabbits. Um, I think it was last year or the year before. I came second at the regionals. And the reason why I bring this up is because I was playing Smashing Ground. I've watched hundreds of videos on Dino Rabbits. And nobody was playing Smashing Ground. I decided to play Smashing Ground because I couldn't get over those cards. And in the regionals, I played Agents. And it had behind a Spirit Reaper and a Marshmallow at the same time. And I used my Forbidden Lance. I played three Forbidden Lance. Lage was on the field. He couldn't do nothing because the Marshmallow was on the field before. So the only card in my deck could save me was the Smashing Ground. I end up doing it and win. But just to prove a point, because I've won um, three regionals, okay? I've topped at three regionals. I'm actually very good. I know what I'm talking about when I tell you to play this. Two Prohibition for problematic cards. It just stops whatever you choose with. Two System Down for Machine Decks. Two Dust Tornado. And one Rivalry, one goes in. So, alright, everyone, please like the video, comment, rate, subscribe. I'm out. Have a great day.